This is Dang Nguyen, um, recording for E271 Project. This is Lauren Sung. Uh, this is Hao Che Li. And this is our scientific calculator um, implemented on the DE10 FPGA. Um, Lawrence will uh, go over the design of the selection states. For the selection states, we can see on our display we're currently in the state of addition. To select a new state, we can just press our switch zero to cycle through our states. So for example, the next state will be subtraction. We can also see our current state and our next state on the LEDs above the switches. If we want to cycle through the states, we can simply keep on clicking switch. Okay, so operation three is multiplication. And if we keep going, we can see all of our uh, states that we have implemented. So this one is division. And then next we have factorial. And after that, we have exponential. After that, we have cosine, and then we have sine. And now Lee will talk about the uh, how to go into a state and out of a state. So we can push another button to get into the state. Now we can see that uh, it's all zero because the input one is zero and the input two is zero, so the output is zero too. So we can uh, turn on the switch. Uh, this shows the input one is three because it's a binary input. And we can turn on input four and five. So we can get a three plus three it is six. And the, and the switch eight is the C in. So we can get a seven. And so the biggest number we can get is a 15 plus 15 and plus carry in. So it's 31. And we can uh, push the button to exit the add mode. And then uh, we can select uh, key zero again to uh, go to the next state, which is subtract. And if we would like to do subtraction, we hit key one. Like our addition, the f uh, our operands will be represented by switch uh, three to four for the one operand and then seven to four for the other. But in this case, uh, since subtraction is uh, sign, um, we decided to use the most significant bit of each operand as the minus sign and such. And um, to make it easier for the user, we use the other three bits to represent the number and then if we want to negate it, we switch the most significant bit. If we feed this input into the full adder, it would not display the correct result. So we have to change our inputs into two's complement uh, in the design. And then the addition of the two complements number will produce the correct uh, result, as you can see. Since the two's complement representation of a four bit can only be seven to negative eight. Um, we implemented LED nine to display anything outside that range. So seven um, minus negative four is seven plus four, which is 11. But um, the LED's overflow sign is on, so the result would be 11, but we cannot represent it with the two's comp complement in this uh, design. To go to the next state, we press the key one again and then key zero to go to multiply, which we can um, display with the seven segments, so it's um, represented by operation three. With the multiply design, we only using unsigned integers for this, and the design is based on uh, multiply array. Uh, but as you can see, our, uh, switches zero to three will represent the first operand, and then switches seven to four will represent the second, and as you can see through the switches, it will um, display the correct uh, results in um, the seventh segment accordingly. So we will exit this design and go to the next operation, which is division. Uh, in division mode, the LED cannot show the input because we need all, all six bits to show the integer and decimal. 
So we can show two bit of integer part and four bit decimal part. When it's divided by zero, the LED will show error. And we can now show this uh, two over three. It's uh, 0 0.6666. So we round off unconditionally. We don't have a 0 0.6667. And then this will be two divided by seven, and then seven divided by seven is one. For the factorial function, we designed a register swapping model based on common practices in assembly language. It is not possible to synthesize a recursive function. Uh, for our factorial function, uh, factorial of three, uh, we get the correct answer of six. Um, if we do a factorial of seven, uh, we get the correct answer of 5,040. Um, note that for our factorial, we can go only up to factorial nine. Uh, of course, if we had more displays and more a better hardware implementation, we could probably uh, implement a factorial function that goes much higher. So if we can go on to the next function, uh, this is our exponential function. For our exponential function, we are also showing uh, six figures of the answer. So our inputs would be shown through the LEDs on top of the switches. For our ex exponential functions, um, we are taking a clock signal in and accumulating our multipliers. So for example, two to the power of three is eight, and that is what is being displayed on our uh, display. Uh, if we want to do something more difficult, such as three to the power of 12, then we get our answer of 531,441. Um, and that is our exponential function. And we have cosine. So the cosine function, since the F FPGA cannot calculate full pinpoint, so we either do it a uh, case by case. So the first input is uh, 2 pi divided by 256. So we can see the value is very close to 1. And we can change the input to pi when we turn all the switch on. Um, yeah. When, so when we turn all the switch on, the display is one, but uh, cosine pi is a negative one. So we use a LED nine as, as positive or negative. When the LED is on means this is a negative. So we can uh, turn off the pi switch so now changes to a uh, cosine zero or cosine two pi. So its value is a uh, positive one. And now we can turn on the switch. Negative up. three pi over four. This produces negative square root two over two or negative 0 0.70710. Then we go to the next function, sine. So sine will be a very impl similar implementation to cosine. Uh, we did it um, with case statements. So for eight bits, it was 256 states. And right now it's currently showing um, the case where it's two pi divided by 256, um, which is very uh, close to zero for sine. And if we go to um, um, turning all the switch on, that um, would mean it's 2 pi. So um, we have the negative here, but it doesn't really matter for this case. And the most significant bit will act as minus or plus pi. And then the next one will act as uh, pi divided by 2. As you can see, um, pi divided by 2 is uh, 1. And then the next one would be pi divided by four uh, and such. So um, this will be pi divided by four or uh, three pi divided by uh, 
four. And then, uh, yeah, if we add a pi again, we will get the um, negative for the result. And then this will uh, conclude our demonstration of the scientific calculator on the E10 light.